When we had last left, Team Ball. They were inside of the sewers beneath the temple district of Athkatla, where they found a secret super wall which they were able to break down, but then were hit with some sort of weird stun to their minds. And it turned out that deep within that secret area within the secret sewers beneath the temple district inside of the city of Athkatla, inside of Omn, um, there was mind flayers. Probably like 500,000 of them. And they battled them all until they got to the very end of their weird looking rooms and claimed their super cool prize. The, the, the cost was high, but they were able to pay the price. This is Baldur's Gate 2, the enhanced edition. Welcome back. Let's unhide all of that. And as you can see, we have gone and re-equipped everyone. We yes. picked up all the shit off the floor. So, let's be on our way back out of here. Holy crap. There we are. And I guess we'll continue looking for what we were actually looking for. Is the little cult area, right? For the eyeless. There we are. Good, good, good. Now, also... The magic warhammer that we had gotten, the war the warhammer of Very thunderbolts well. or whatever it was, just as I the would have faux Mjolnir, we put on Animan, right? Because he actually does have some experience in warhammers, though not really that much, right? Not that much. I I really do wish there was an opportunity simple. to like. Pay a bunch of money or something to respec everyone at least once, you know, because I feel like I'm always, you know, especially for a first playthrough, you're always flying so blind with regards to knowing what sorts of items you'll find, you know, and how you want to have a certain character class set up and whatnot. Okay, is this you is this the area we need to go? Before venturing no. Forth. This is like no the second or third all. time I've gone all in there thinking right, that was then. it. Okay. Hopefully this. The old tunnels. Or do, does it even say? Huh. Let's see. Investigate and destroy the cult of the eyeless. No. Just below ground, I think. What? Huh. We may as well go in here and check. Jesus, this is an enormous area. Yes. Okay. Any booby traps down here? Perhaps? I hope not. Oh, look. Yo, this looks cult-like. Whoa. Okay. Let's make sure Jan yes, is up yes. here. A standard tactic, that. No booby traps. Yes. Okay. At least not yet. Holy shit. Ooh! Some shadows. Okay. Beware. Oh my gosh, Your and Edder caps. Oh, there's the trap. Strike you down. Okay. Right Let's go back to our ranged. Help them out. We've got the AI on, we're good. Okay. Poor Yon. I think that was Yon going, ah! Okay, let's take I these. No oh, shit, we're so full the of shit. On the let's throw some of this stuff over. Okay, we're good. Very well. Let's see, there was yeah, a few more. For the greater balance. Honestly, the booby trap is kind of doing us favors here. Okay. How have I not gotten webbed up? Do I have some sort of immunity to it? I'm not enraged. Yeah. Protected from magical energy, maybe? Okay. Jeez, there are a lot of them. Any clickables in here while we're clearing out the rest of them? Some ooze as well? 
Ooze Mephit. Okay, there's also some weird shit on the ground. Is that like Death Cloud or whatever it is? Good God, man. This will be so Oh. Let's get everyone out of that. Oh. It has been crowd controlled. Okay, Keldor, don't walk over into that. No time at all. Okay. I think we're actually out of combat. Well, we have to wait for the the weird cloud to dissipate. Okay. Any clickables in this room? At all? No. I was wondering if this ladder, maybe we could descend down, but it doesn't seem like it. Jesus, Cloud is gonna stay forever. What is it now? Let's get some heals up, I guess. Alright. Check back here. Any goodies on the floor? Nope. Just Edder Cap meat. Okay. Another quick save. Check down here. Ooh, look at this. Something weird here. <laughs> I don't know what this shape is, what this room could be, but it is not the shape that I would expect for something down here. Okay. Oh, it's opened. What the fuck is this place? Got it. Send Yon in. We can interact with this valve. Yes. Okay. Oh shit! Vampiric mist! As you near the center of the room, the doors clang shut and you hear a hiss of gas. An orange cloud begins to fill the now sealed chamber. Uh oh. There is a wheel in the middle of the ch of this chamber. Perhaps turning it will reveal its function. Yeah, turn it. I'm too far away what? to turn it. Okay. Uh, I I turn it. I'm too far Very away well. to turn it. I turn it. Turning the wheel causes the doors in the gas chamber to open. Yes. Okay. Well, fuck. Everyone, get get the fuck out of that. Okay. I think we're fine now. Well, that's weird. Okay. Sure. Get on with just as I would have thought. Is this actually some sort of devious trap, or is this, you know, these are sewers? Is this like the fart gas room? Is this like where farts actually go for real? Like, you know, we joke about things being farts, but is this is this really farts? Ah, it is good right to now? adventure in such a place. <laughs> right? Is but this like fart fume? Evil is, so near. is this actually gonna disappear? Oh, there we go. Okay. What if I activate it again? That causes the doors to open. Okay. You have a plan. I shall do my utmost. Are we going through this in reverse? I don't know. Oh. Gaul. Elite guard. Who are this you all? Simple. Oh, and I. I bet you all are who I'm looking for. Hold! You tread on sacred ground. Only those who serve the unseeing eye may enter. I am Gaul, high priest of the one god. Gosh, you don't get line deliveries like this anymore these days, right? Uh, I wish to know more. How does one serve your unseeing eye? Who is this unseeing eye of yours? I'll go where I like, priest. Who is this unseeing eye of yours? The unseeing eye has brought us enlightenment. Only by removing our eyes can we remove the veil of lies and deceit clouding our lives. He is the most ancient and wise of the race you might know. As beholders, oh. We servants have flocked to him gladly, and his mighty power protects us. You would be wise to serve him as we do. Just how does one become a servant of this unseeing eye anyway? 
You serve a beholder with no eye? Can a beholder have power with no eye? I have no interest in becoming a servant of anyone. Yeah, that's, that's pretty novel. A beholder with no eye? Can it have power? Without his eyes, the one God is stronger, not weaker. He has made mountains tremble and easily destroyed those fools who have come seeking his destruction. Only those who serve him are safe always. All right, so how does one become a servant? Well, I have no interest in serving a beholder in any capacity. How does one become a servant? The one God has demanded that his disciples achieve a higher state of wisdom. You must remove that which is limiting and offensive. The unholy eyes are removed from your head during the sacred initiation. If you survive and are proven faithful, the unseeing eye accepts you into service. And if you don't survive? What if I'm not interested in having my eyes removed? You blind your devoted on purpose? That is horrid. And what if I don't survive? Sadly, there are those who lack the stamina to serve the one God. Their lack of faith betrays them. The bodies of these unfortunate are offered to the pit of the faithless. I would like to learn more, but what if I'm not interested in having my eyes removed? Tell me more about this unseeing eye of yours. Who is he? So you kill them? Outrageous. I shall end this worship of yours myself. Perhaps I should be on my way then. I would like to learn more, but what if I'm not interested in having my eyes removed? I guess we'll try to infiltrate them as best we can. Hmm. It is a sign of weakness to refuse the Enlightenment. Would you walk about willingly without arms, without feet? I do not think so. Still, the unseeing eye could use the skills of one such as yourself. An exception could perhaps be made in your case. There is something that you could do that the Great One cannot, despite his vast power. Assist in that, and I will admit you into our ranks and into the Unseen One's presence, yes? Tell me what it is, and I'll consider it. No thanks, I've no interest in doing anything for this Unseen Eye. I'll consider it. These holy grounds are part of a larger, ancient structure. Dangerous if one ventures into the lower levels. The unseeing eye knows of a valuable item in this area. If you were to venture below, you could prove your worth by retrieving this artifact for him. Do this, and I will allow you into our ranks and the one's divine presence. What is this item you speak of? Man, so we can d maybe deceive them, get in the cult, and get a cool valuable item. Uh, what is this item you speak of, and where would I locate it? How would I get to these lower levels? Very well, I shall do as you suggest. No, I refuse to do this. I would rather end your worthless life, priest. I wonder what this ancient structure is. You don't think, um... You don't think it's some kind of fucking spaceship or airship or whatever, right? Is that possible? I feel, <laughs> I feel like we're encountering a lot of stuff like this lately. You know, I'm open to the idea that maybe the entire city, or at least a, a section of the city, is some kind of, like, hidden spaceship or whatever, you know? I'm, I'm absolutely open to the possibility. What is this item you speak of, and where would I locate it? The item is a rod. Or part of a rod, rather. You will find atop, that you will find atop a holy altar. I cannot tell you more than that. You must let your faith guide you. And how would I get to these lower levels? I have a key I can give you. This will allow you entrance to the inner chambers through a door sh a short distance back the way you came, at the sewer passages. What is this item you speak of and where would I locate it? Are we looping? Yeah, okay. Sure, I'll do what you want. You are worthy in my eyes, faithful one. Here is the key. Once you have the rod, bring it to me, and together we shall present it to the unseeing eye. 
So, why can't the nasty beholder go and get this rod on his own? I'll tell you why. It's likely trapped three ways from Sunday, that's what. Good thing you've got me along, Lila Schnub. Smart thinking on your part. You'll go far, you know. Farther, maybe, than Cousin Biffle-Chips. Although he was flung by a catapult, so I suppose it doesn't really count. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Investigate and destroy the cult, yep. I've spoken to Gaul, leader of this cult. His god is nothing more than a blind beholder. I can't imagine a beholder without its eyes, but it seems to be the case. In order to gain admittance, I've agreed to descend to the lower levels of the dungeon the cult inhabits and return with a particular rod for the beholder. The rod sits on an altar, apparently, but there... But nothing more was said about it. Gaul gave me a key that allows access to this area. Okay. What does the key look like? Who even has it? Oh, here we go. This is the key given to you by Gaul. It will open the door to the lower levels of the dungeon where you can find one half of the Rift device. Whoa, the Rift device. Okay. No time I wonder where all. the other half is. Maybe in the possession of the eyeless one. So back the way we came. Maybe through here? All right. Sure. Unless, like, this room somehow links to it. I don't think so. Okay. Good. Well, maybe we can fake them out, you know? Bring them the Rift device half, fake them out, murder them, and then get the other half and then, I don't know, use it for, for some means? I don't know. There we go. Did we use the key? Sure. Jan made it sound like there was booby traps aplenty around here. So I guess we ought to be careful. All right then. Quite oh shit! Trap sprung on Jan. Oh fuck. something else in here? Or was it just from the trap? Sasser. What the fuck? Is it like a mummy? Be wary, my friends. Someone has come before us. I can sense it. Oh. I thought, is this not where I needed to go? More of you with no eyes. Are you followers of the Unseeing Eye, then? Do not excite yourselves, I am here to retrieve this rod for your god. More cultists. I'll end your existence here and now. I'm here to retrieve the rod. No. You must not do this. You cannot give the rod to the Beholder, my lady. It is an artifact of immense power. But your eyes are gone. Why do you say this if you are servants of the cult? Why not? What do you know about this rod? I'll do as I like, fools, leave me be. I mean, they're probably not servants, but let's let's say this anyway to hear them out. Why do you say this if you are servants of this cult? No, my lady, we are not. Or perhaps it is more correct to say that we are worshippers no longer. What brings you to this place? First, tell me what do you mean when you say you're no longer worshippers, question mark? The church has bid me investigate the cult. But I also seek a rod from below. What I'm about here is my business. What do you mean when you say you are no longer worshippers? My name is Sassar. I was once the One God's High Priest. When I discovered the true depth of his evil, I escaped and met up with others who had left the cult. We tried to stop the Beholder. But we have lost the senses he gifted, uh, 
gifted to us for taking our eyes. We are truly blind, stumbling in our efforts to stop this evil. I am here for the same purpose, though I must retrieve a rod from below first. Just how were you planning on stopping the Beholder? That's very nice, but I have business to attend to. How are you planning on stopping the Beholder? When I was the High Priest for the Unseeing Eye, I discovered that its purpose for coming here was to gain the powerful artifact below. It is an item of such destructive power that the gods themselves determined it should not be used again. It was split in two, and this half was secreted here. It is protected against intrusion by powerful magic and beasts that live in the caverns. Many of the Beholder's followers have perished trying to retrieve it. I know, my lady, that the Beholder has the other half of the rod. If he were to acquire this half, he would be capable of wrecking terrible destruction. If this is true, then the cult must be destroyed. I shall not retrieve the rod. What have you done here if you can't stop the Beholder from trying to get the rod? Let's say that. We tried to get the second half of the rod ourselves, to use its destructive power to defeat the Beholder. That is the only way to destroy the creature. Oh, it's not like a normal Beholder? It actually does have power? The Beholder has failed to acquire the rod because the gods have cursed the item. This lets you determine the... This lets you determine the artifact's true worth or threat. Would you... Would you be willing to go below and retrieve the artifact, my lady? Can this half of the rod work without the other half? Very well, I will go below and see if I can locate this rod. Now I'll be leaving right now. Will this half work without the other? No, that is true. The beholder's half must be stolen for the power to be used. I know of a way to do this. Retrieve the first half and I shall tell you of it. Very well, I shall return as soon as I am able. I am most grateful, my lady. We have tried, but our blind li blindness limits us. This chamber we are in is safe, so long as the sarcophagus is not opened. I would ask that you do not try to open it yourself. I sense great evil from it, and I do wish my brethren and I to remain safe here. Oh, I pray that my God will someday forgive my trespass and restore my sight. Be careful in the levels below, and remember that the gods will likely not allow one to take the artifact for themselves for long. Remember that, Godspeed. Really, will we be on like a timer? I've stumbled across Cesar, who was once the high priest for the Beholder until he learned of the creature's true intentions. It has, come, it has come to this place to recover a piece of a powerful rod that lies in the dungeons below. The match to the piece it already has. Many in the cult have been sent below to make the attempt, and all have apparently failed. Cesar claims that the gods curse the rod because of its great power, but he couldn't tell me more. He did say, however, that the only way to destroy the Beholder would be to use the rod against it. I must retrieve the part of the rod below, and then Cesar will tell me how to steal the other half from the Beholder. Okay. Sure. But what's this about a sarcophagus in- Oh. Hmm. Well, maybe after we help them out, we open the sarcophagus and fight whatever's inside? Look, there's another person here. Can we talk to them? Oh, there's a couple people. Sure. It's wild that they don't know that they're in here, right? Hmm. These places can be home to the harshest of nature's creatures. I mean, I know that they they're all eyeless, even even the other bad dudes over here. But they apparently have some other kind of senses granted to them. You'd think they would know that there were other dudes just hanging out. Okay, Zalus. I am Zalus, and I have been assisting Cesar in researching the rod below. I truly thank you for helping us. I trust that all is well. Whoa. You have our thanks, friend. We have been able to, 
to do only so much against the beholder without our eyes. Clangedin, watch over ye. Okay. Yes. Great. Yeah, what is with the sarcophagus? Why can't we ask about that? Look at all these orbs of light or whatever. Huh. Verily. I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing possible. Jeez, look at these giant, sinister-looking statues. Okay. Good. Oh, another booby trap. Let's take care of that. It shall be done with skill and care, if not brevity. Nope, oh, Shadow Fiend. Very well. You will fall yet. More coming in. You will fall yet. Okay. Take nature strikes. Good. We could try and throw some restore on Yan. Or do we even have any right now? Oh shit, we may not have any that we can cast. Okay. Oh, we've got lesser restoration. Fuck it, we'll try it. Good. Let's get some healing going on too. At once, your worship. Okay. How careful should we be here? Oh, there's a secret door. I demand that we stop. The day was not this long, even huh? when I led soldiers in the order. Just as I would have thought. Okay. Let's check behind the secret. Or does it need disarming or I'll unlocking? I'll it for a turnip. Oh. The mechanism that operates this does not have a conventional lock and may be warded against simple spells. This will be simple. We have no key. Okay. You know, this reminds me of that time way back. All right, looks like a gigantic area we can go through. Don't. Yes, yes, a standard tactic that. What All right, let's check it out. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Good, good, good. Whoa! What is this fucking architecture down here? What the fuck? There's even more weird shit underneath Othkotla compared to Baldur's Gate. No time at all. Are these giant, like, bones? Here on the right? Are these, like, little dudes throwing up? Right? Are these, like, feet? And this is their head, and they're like, Wah. Okay. Well, this is weird. Can I walk over there? No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, this might be a hand. Whoa, that's a gigantic hand. Oh, shit. Huge spider. I tore myself strike you down. You shall suffer my wrath. <laughs> For the fallen! Alright. Wasn't so bad. Sure. Oh, some mutated gibberling. We definitely need to investigate that up there. Jon Jonsson at your service. Take that. Oh, Alright then. Good. Oh, I've just realized CERN is not in werewolf mode. There we go. Great. Get on with it. Stash these precious stones. Huh? Or amulets, I guess. The mouth of this statue seems to be screaming. It has a mouth. Is this the mouth right here? Okay. Wandering horror. All right, Antonna. Does this need to be disarmed or open? No. 
Okay. I demand oh. that we stop. Yes. The day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the order. Oh, ah. shit. It is booby trapped. Aye, as you wish. Okay. Very well. Walls in there. Bunch of scrolls and gems. I'll take them. Set to yawn. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah, that's what? cloud kill. Just as I would okay. Have thought. I'd carry the world if I could, but you'll have to package it smaller. I'm out of room. Got enchanted weapon. When this spell is cast on a creature, it enchants any weapons that it currently wields. For the duration of the spell, those weapons are treated as having a plus three enchantment for the purposes of de determining what they can hit. Hold undead. Okay. Tensor's transformation, vampiric touch. Okay, the transformation we could potentially learn. Huh. Stash all that for now. This will be simple. Okay. Yeah, this place is really, really big. All right, well. Some weird rocks, yeah, too. With vengeance. We had heard, I think, right, of a, like, temple of Ball? Or something to do with Ball inside of this city? But I'm not sure if this is it. With vengeance. Like this feels different. Especially given the presence no of all this vamp all. vampire stuff, right? There was vampiric mist. We got a vampire touch scroll. I don't know. There was a sarcophagus we weren't supposed to open. Oh yeah, there are also- there's a presence of vampires in this city as well. Lest we forget that. Maybe it's all linked up. Oh shit, what did I detect? Oh, uh, there it is. Let me see. Right here at the I foot can't. of the stairs. I'm allergic! Well, alright. I'm not that allergic. Good. Okay. All right. We can somehow activate this ceiling? Too far away. Oh. Guardian. The bridge has fallen and ends in death. Call forth the name to summon the path. What is the bridge? Oh, shit. I don't understand. What do you wish to know? I refuse to answer now. I will return later. Ruin is my answer. Age is my answer. Mercy is my answer. Existence, life, disease, honor, wealth. Okay. If the bridge has fallen and ends in, in death... If it ends in death, then is the bridge life? Life is the bridge that must end in death. Though duty may hold it at bay, you have spoken of the bridge, but this alone is not enough. You are not alone on the bridge. Call forth the name to summon the path. It travels with you, and through it you travel, and yet it does leave you behind. Who is with you? I thought there was only one question. I will return later to answer your riddle. Who is with me? You're not alone on the bridge. Call forth the name to summon the path. It travels with you and though it and through it you travel. Yet it does leave you behind. 
Life, maybe? My father, charity, the air, friendship, time, the road. Huh. Well, it's probably either life or time. Right? It travels with you, and through it you travel, yet it does leave you behind. I mean, probably not life, because life was already part of the answer initially. Time is my answer. Time is with you, and you travel through it, and all the while it moves away. Time goes on with and without you, though duty may make it wait. The bridge is not stable, and the end changes place. Call forth the name to summon the path. Choose the most difficult step on the bridge. How many more questions will there be? I will return to answer this later. The first one, for there is fear in the unknown. The current one, for it alone is my choice. The last one, as the end of the journey is death. Huh. The bridge is not stable and the end changes place. Choose the most difficult step on the bridge. I feel like it would be the last one. I mean, I could see someone also thinking that the first one, the unknown, is difficult. Right? I don't know. I mean, to to wrap your own head around the very conceit of death and, like, the end of all things and, like, your own ability to conceive of, like, you know, your own, your own consciousness coming to an end, your, your ability to perceive um, joy and sadness and everything ending forever is horrifying but although it is horrifying it is not difficult because it will happen no matter what right and the first one the first step on the bridge of life uh, is also not difficult because you are not necessarily even the one who does it right you have no agency in the first step but the current one, whichever, whatever you are on currently, is always the most difficult, right? To move forward. Is that it? Sorry, also, uh, apologies, a very secular reading on life and death there. <laughs> apologies if you do not share the same, uh, like, thought processes as I. Uh, let's see. The current one, for it alone, is my choice. The current step may be your first and may also become your last. The other two are abstract. This one is yours to choose and shape, though duty may force the choosing. You have summoned the path and may join in the guarding. Duty awaits you. Holy fuck, I'm the smartest man alive. With a screech of stone on stone, the bridge repairs itself and allows access to the other side. The voice offers no further riddles. Okay. Well, I didn't know that uh, we should have expected yes. something like this. I wonder what would have happened. Oh! There are Goth! Beholder and Goth! Okay. Well, Get let's go it. fuck them up. Uh, huh? Let's get the little tiny ones first. Jeez, they're blasting me! They're blasting me!
What am I being blasted with? I'm getting spell failure, critical strike. Okay. For the greater balance. I think the critical strike though is like a boon on my part. Let's get a heal going on myself. Hi, I have lost my Okay, get our ranged here. Good. Let's try and throw down some speed. Great. Animan, holy shit, dude. Jeez, dude is getting fucked up big style. Okay. Well, fuck it. Let's try and do a big heal on Jahira. On to Animan. Oh, he got fucked up. Okay. Well, what can you do? Let's bring him back into the fold. Oh shit, we don't even have a res back on Jahira. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, we've got that there. Okay, should we also redo some stuff on Jan? I feel like we should. The chromatic orbs are just not cutting it for me. There's no denying the power of the magic missile. Okay. Sure. All right. Get a quick rest. And have her bring his ass back. Good. Now someone wrote in with a tip about being careful. Yeah. Like, you can kind of loot stuff off the ground in this way. Which makes re-equipping way, way easier. Compared to how I'd been doing it. Okay. There we are. Good. I shall go forth at your command. All right, and then after a what? short while, we'll be able to re-equip them. Okay, we've got some woot loot over here. Does this need opening or disarming? No. Yes. Oh, another warhammer. Let's get Yawn over there. Got it. Give it an ID. Ashadina. Lady Ashadina was a remarkable strategist who honed her skills against the orc armies in the year of the Black Horde. She met Durgat Wiltun, the warrior that wielded this weapon, when he foiled an ambush led by the great orc Varstok, and soon after made him her field captain. After serving at each, at each other's side for the entirety of the war, they fell in love and eventually married. Historians report that Durgat named this Warhammer after his bride to remind himself that the love of the love he fought to protect. What Lady Ashadina thought of this is unknown. Okay. It's kind of like a bad version of the cool Warhammer we've already got. All right, well, we'll move that around. Very well. Anything else over here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Ooh, a whole bunch of weird water. What the hell are these things? They look like little tiny elephant trunk dudes peeing. Look at this. They're like crouched down. 
You know, they're like sitting on their butt with their their legs folded up into their shoulders here. And these are their hands, right? These are their arms and their hands grabbing like their massive dong. Right as their little like elephant trunk is down there too. And they're just peeing like, like wild. <laughs> it shall be done with skill and care. They just look it like a whole bunch of weird elephant guys peeing everywhere. Should we presume that this place will be covered in booby traps as well? Oh look. Animan is back to normal. There we are. Get on with it! This will be simple. Okay. Well, so far so good, as far as booby traps go. I cannot inspect the little peeing elephant guys. No time at all. Oh, diseased one, diseased child. What the fuck is this place? Hello. Yes. That's it. I am a stranger in your time lost buried city, and all you say is hello. How do we know that that's what this is? I had no idea. <laughs> oh, what is this place? Speak or suffer my wrath. Hello yourself. Can I ask who you are? I don't mean to pry. Can I ask who you are? Of course you do. Or you would not have asked the question. It matters not at all. I have nothing to hide from you and would not care even if I did. I'm sure it would make you feel important, but I've simply no interest in you. I think you'll find we care about very little at all. Then tell me who you are. What is this place? And I care even less who you are. Just tell me what this place is. Has life lost all meaning for you? Why stay here if it has? Then tell me who you are. What is this place? Ah, you wish the exposition. Typical. I should really write this down so I don't have to keep repeating it. Not that we have had a lot of visitors. We are the Guardians. We guard the temple. This is very important because every few hundred years, someone almost wanders this way. We have forgotten what it is that we guard, and we have forgotten how many generations we have been here, and we have forgotten what it is to have a purpose. But you must be serving some greater plan. Who is the temple dedicated to? You sound thrilled with your calling. Why do you stay? What well, is this affliction you all have? You look to be suffering from a disease? Who is the temple dedicated to? The temple? It has been so long since we have uttered the god's name. It has been forgotten by most. What loyalty do we owe a creature that would condemn us to this? Then why do you stay? I guess because of their disease. Why do you stay? We cannot leave. We cannot even die. We are born again in an endless cycle and an endless recycling of our souls. We learn, over and over again, that we are condemned to a fate we no longer want. Okay. And what is this disease you are afflicted with? I'm surp Like, the irony of these people cursed to restart their cycle of souls and like be brought back to life or re be reborn again or something um this is very poignant of course with kind of the lord of murder but even more so from the very beginning Irenicus's research into defying death here lo and behold here's these people underneath the city who apparently figured out how to do it or they didn't really figure it out. It was thrust upon them. What disease are you afflicted with? It is a decay of our minds and souls. We grow to hate the power that sustains us. So it rots us from the inside. There is no cure. There is no escape. There is no end. Well, this is sounding very from software. And the temple. Who is it dedicated to? Then why do you stay? I will try to release you somehow. If you are too weak to free yourselves, I suppose I should try to. I will try to release you somehow. 
Do what you will. There is no escape for us. We have accepted this. We teach it to the newly young, who then teach it to the old that die and are reborn. The deal which placed us here has been followed to the letter, and we are never to be released from the service no matter how pointless the task. You will fail. You cannot help but fail. We know this. We expect nothing other. You worship suffering like a martyr of Ilmater, but you lack pride or purpose. That's a very poignant take. If you are resigned to your fates, I will simply get what I came for and leave. Is there nothing that can be done? Have you petitioned your lord? Is there nothing that can be done? We cannot petition the unknown. We have not seen a sign for ages, and his name is lost to us now. No, nothing is directed at the temple, except loathing. Take what you will. We are guardians in name only. We might as well be simple, mindless skeletons. What the fuck? This is tied to this quest? I thought it was completely separate. I have encountered the so-called guardians of the dungeon below. They seem to have forgotten why they are there, or what they are guarding. The one I spoke to did not believe I could do anything to free him. According to him, the guardians are trapped here, bound by a duty that has long since lapsed into redundancy. They cannot even remember which god did this to them, or they will not speak his name out of spite. They have nothing but loathing for whomever that might be. Huh. Well, this is really not what the fuck I expected at all down here. <laughs> right, this is really taking a very peculiar and unexpected turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, I suppose when next we come back, we'll continue poking around this ancient temple area. Right? There is this gigantic statue here, which supposedly this is a head with its mouth ajar. Really, I could only discern the hand. Right? Looks like we can enter their temple, get the rod, right? Yeah, very, very odd, very weird. Hmm. I wonder if this architecture is meant to, like, evoke tentacles? You know, sort of like the tentacles that are on a beholder? I don't know. Right, like these? These look like appendages on a beholder. You know? With a little eye there, little tentacle, little eye stalk. All right. Well, when next we come back, we'll continue looking around here. We'll probably speak with some of these diseased children. We'll go inside the temple, all that good stuff. Until next time, please take care of each other.